Hi, and welcome everyone to our presentation about graduate programs at Koch University. So first of all, I would like to introduce our team. Our team is the International Student Recruitment Directorate. Um, we are under the president's office. We are a small team of um, five specialists uh, that are dedicated to helping find talent all around the world for both our undergraduate and graduate programs, as well as summer and short-term programs. Um, my name is Melissa Abache. I'm the director of the team. I have been working at Coach University for eight years now. I joined in 2014, and I'm originally from Venezuela, from Caracas, but I have um, been an international student like you are in the UK and in the US before, um, and then I moved to Turkey, and also in Spain, by the way. So I want to thank you for joining our session today in case you're interested in the future opportunities to continue your studies at Koch University right after graduation or even after that. So first of all, I want to, congratulation, to congratulate you for having chosen Koch University as your destination for your study abroad semester. Perhaps this is the first time you're going abroad as a student or you have done this before but having picked Istanbul as well as a city to be a student in, as an international student, it's a great choice. We put this image when we're talking to prospective applicants who may not be very familiar with Turkey. Um, and we like to describe you know, the city as a puzzle in the sense that you may have heard or read um, watched videos online about Turkey and about Istanbul. And even then, if you think you have done some exhaustive research, um, we always feel like uh, it's a very big puzzle with lots of different pieces in terms of culture, history, architecture, uh, politics, you know, like there's everything going on in this very, very large city. And you're very lucky that you will get to experience that during your semester at Koch University. So I want to congratulate you and of course, invite you to make the most of your time here besides your academic experience of interacting with our professors and, and classmates in, in our campus to also really get the chance to explore the city and all of the opportunities it can offer in terms of growing yourself personally, learning more about the very, very rich history, complex and multi-layered history of the city, as well as the very, very nice things that the city has to offer in terms of food, arts, uh, entertainment, uh, nightlife, uh, you know, everything you can think of, sports. So uh, make sure that you use that time wisely whilst you're here. And hopefully the weather will be in your favor as well. So when we look at the reasons why Koch University is chosen by uh, international graduate applicants to join our master or PhD programs. These are the most common reasons that they have uh, said again and again, right? And um, first of all is the opportunity to do a graduate program in English. So it doesn't mean that by coming to Turkey, you have to learn Turkish to do a graduate program. But the main reason is the second one you see on the screen is that they want to work with uh, one or more of our faculty members because they are internationally renowned um, and they have found them uh, regarding, you know, their publications, the impact those publications have had, or they have heard them in different scientific conferences, or uh, they are aware that our faculty members have won very competitive research grants in the European level or um, more, you know, in other uh, countries. So, the teaching excellence that we offer here in terms of not only courses, but as supervisors for a research program and also for professional master programs is what attracts most of our international graduate applicants. Another reason is that uh, even though we're a young university compared to, to some older and much bigger universities in Turkey, we are one of the few, or if I wouldn't say even the only university in Turkey that has uh, a medical school right alongside many other colleges of very high caliber. You often find that there are some uh, research intensive universities that are famous or well known for specific disciplines. Like, you know, for example, this university is very good in social sciences. This one is very good in the built environment. This one is very good in uh, basic sciences, uh, this one in health sciences. However, Koch University aims to really excel at every field um, where its faculty members are 
working in. So this offers a lot of opportunity for um, also interdisciplinary collaboration and research to tackle some very complex problems that our faculty members and graduate students are looking at. The other thing is, of course, that because it's a small university, we say that it's a boutique experience. So you really have very small class sizes with a low student faculty ratio. The ratio that you see there is actually for undergraduate classes. For graduate programs, it's even lower. So it means it's a very hands-on, personalized, um, hands-on supervision of students at what we offer. So it's not going to be the case as you may find in um, in other very you know world class brand name universities around the world in which yes you have the reputation of having obtained a degree from there which is completely understandable but the real time that you spend with the supervisor is very limited uh, because of course you know they these are professors who supervise very large numbers of graduate students that is not the case at Koch University in all areas and that's why the university is also very selective about the number and quality of graduate students that it chooses for admission every year to make sure that you really have um, a real kind of one-on-one uh, -on -one experience in terms of your courses and in terms of your supervision especially. So of course, uh, you know, the fact that we are a research intensive interdisciplinary university, I have mentioned before, but this really does make a big difference when it comes to the quality of opportunities that you're going to have in terms of, uh, you know, access to equipment, to infrastructure, to materials, to uh, resources, like, you know, library resources, journals, databases, uh, how you can try different things during your graduate studies. And of course, I don't have to mention this because you have already now uh, hopefully arrival will be arriving in our campus very soon and you will get to experience our absolutely beautiful campus uh, with all of the services that it can offer. It is a campus that also doesn't suit all personalities, I would say. So uh, there are some people that prefer to be in a more urban or dense environment where you can just, you know, uh, leave the door of the university and be right in the middle of the city. That was my experience, for example, when I did my master's program. Um, but at the same time, I can also appreciate that a campus like ours, which is a bit more um, far away, isolated, contained, as you would say, suits uh, people who want to, for example, uh, focus their time during the week on their studies and their research and then use their free time over the weekend or semester breaks to really explore the city or explore the country um, and the region around Istanbul. So um, it really is up to you to make that decision, of course, uh, but it is a really very good campus with everything you need. And of course, the last reason why our students choose us is that they have seen the track record of graduate placements and employment of our alumni, both in professional masters and also in research master and PhD programs. So typically our master's students who want to then pursue a PhD program, they are placed at some of the top programs in the top supervisors around the world, in Ivy League institutions, in Group of Eight, in Russell Group type institutions around the world. Um, or if they have completed a PhD with us, they very easily find very good postdoctoral positions or start at prestigious universities back home as um, lecturers or assistant professors. So there is a lot of doors that are open to a graduate student once they finish at Koch University. So here I'm going to briefly show our list of available graduate programs. Uh, we have two types. One is the research master programs, which are master with thesis, these have a duration of two years in which you complete courses typically during the first year, which some of them are required, and then you choose from different elective courses based on your specific interest. And we have PhD programs, which follow very closely the model of American PhD um, structure. So it's four years. Um, you do have courses that you take during the first year, in, again, where you have some core required courses and elective program, elective courses. And then at the end of that first year, in some cases, this first one and a half year, you do take a PhD qualifying exam. After passing that exam, then you devote most of your time to conducting research with an academic supervisor. And you also have uh, teaching assistant duties and, of course, research assistant duties. So this is all part of the the package is not quite the same system as in Europe, as you may have found in other uh, countries like the Netherlands or Germany, where uh, PhD students are considered staff members of the university. In our case, a PhD student is considered a student and is also 
um, consider as one in terms of the scholarships that they receive. So as you can see on the screen, we have, uh, you know, especially in a red school of sciences and engineering, we have a very large proportion of international students and they are joining some of these programs because of the interdisciplinary way that they are offered uh, for supervision for the topics. So I invite you to check the websites that you see on the screen where you can see details about each program, the faculty members, the research areas, and of course, application dates for later on. That's not too much. That's also urgent for you. Um, same thing with our Graduate School of Health Sciences. The Graduate School of Health Sciences, by the way, um, most of the teaching takes place at our Koch University Hospital, which is located in the Topkapi area of Istanbul. Not Topkapi, the Palace of Topkapi, which I'm sure you will get to visit during your stay in Istanbul. Then um, we have the Graduate School of Social Sciences and Humanity. This is also a school where we have a very large number of international students, especially in master programs. And there are some specific programs that attract a lot of very high quality applicants, such as archaeology and history of art, international relations, law, um, and also um, uh, economics. So I invite you to, again, check the website. And in our graduate school of business, the, the only kind of research-oriented program is the PhD program in business administration that offers different tracks depending on the area of interest that you have. Then we offer professional master programs, which are very well suited for people who have recently graduated or have had some years of work experience. So this may be an option for you if after doing your study abroad semester at Coach University, you really fell in love with the city, you really liked your campus, you would like to come back here after you graduate from your home university. So these are programs that I also invite you to check out. Um, there are some that are very well established and have been going on for a lot of years and are, are you know, the, they are very well known in Turkey as being the top program or the best program, uh, especially in our graduate school of business. There are some that are very new that I wanted to talk very briefly about. Some of them are, for example, our master's in global health for those of you interested in development, humanitarian assistant type um, topics. This is an area that may be of interest. And for those of you who are coming from an engineering or business um, the administration background, but are very interested in the topic of data science, then we also now have a master's of science in data science, which is um, uh, it can be completed in one year as a course only or non-thesis option. And we're very excited because also this year, we are uh, launching a new joint master program as part of the UNIQUE, which is a European uh, commission funded university along with eight other partner universities around Europe. Some of you may be students of those universities. So we will be launching the first cohort of this new program, a master's program in the topic of redesigning the post-industrial city from September, 2023 onwards. It's a very interdisciplinary program where we are trying to bring together architects, urban planners, sociologists, anthropologists, economists, lawyers, um, people in public administration to really think how can we manage, design, and uh, govern our cities, especially those of us who are living in cities that have transitioned from mainly industrial uh, sector economies towards service sector economies and what are the challenges associated with that. So all of the information will be found on our website where very soon. And if you have any questions, of course, you can get in touch with us after today. I won't go very long about this because it's too early for you, but just so that you know, our application requirements for the research master and PhD programs are very similar to what you would expect from an American type model of admission. So it's a holistic and selective process in which the applicant is evaluated in terms of all of their application elements, including their um, university transcripts and their overall grade point average their English proficiency, because of course the programs are offered only in English. There is a statement of purpose, which is fairly standard, and we have a lot of guidance about this, as you can see on the bottom of the screen on our own website about how to prepare a strong statement of purpose, how to ask for references, which is another thing like recommendation letters. And um, some programs uh, will also require you to provide either GRE or GMAT t uh, test scores results. For professional master programs, it's slightly a shorter list, but the main thing is to really make sure that you have a good 
um, GPA from your university studies, that you have um, recommendation letters, that you are clear about what is your motivation to join the program, and that you have a good level of English proficiency. In terms of tuition fees and scholarships, uh, this is very good news. Uh, first of all, all of our research, master, and PhD programs in the graduate schools of sciences and engineering and social sciences and humanities are offered with no tuition fee, meaning if you apply for admission to one of the programs and you're offered admission, then automatically you also receive 100% tuition scholarship for the duration of the program, which is two years in the case of master's or four years in the case of PhD programs. Some programs may also offer, based on funding availability, they may also offer a monthly stipend and other benefits to cover your living expenses. That can include health insurance. For PhD, for PhD students, we also um, provide um, campus accommodation and there are other benefits. So that is all explained in our website. For professional master programs, typically they have a duration of one year and the tuition fees range the, according to the program between um, $9,800 to about $19,500. These are the current academic year tuition fees. They may be a slight increase for the upcoming academic year and they will be announced on our website as well. But those of you who are interested in a master with thesis or completing a PhD in the future, you're already seeing that that may be uh, a desirable kind of career option for you. I really think this is a great opportunity that you don't often find anymore at a lot of European or American universities or Canadian universities. So it is really a differentiating factor and why a lot of our students choose to come and study with us. So that's all for me for today. You can find all of the information about our graduate programs as an international perspective applicant on the website on the screen, which is international.ku.edu.tr. You can get in touch with us via email. That's our preferred method of communication to study at ku.edu.tr. And we're very active also, of course, on social media, especially on YouTube. So we have a YouTube channel called KU International Admissions. And now we're also on TikTok. And of course, we have been there for a while in Instagram. So I invite you to check that and follow us for news. Thank you so much and hope you have a great semester in Istanbul. Our office is located on the uh, at the rectorate building, first floor. So anytime you want to come by, have a chat, have some Turkish tea, we'll be happy to host you there. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.